Welcome to our lecture online. Here, we first would think, if we see an example like this, that we just have to multiply every term of the first polynomial with every term of the next polynomial. And of course, since there's three terms in each polynomial, three times three, that would be nine products. That's a lot of work. However, if we're a little bit clever about it, we can rewrite this so that it makes it a lot easier. For example, we can take a look at the last two terms, and in this case, factor out a negative sign, and if we do that, we get the following. So this could be written as, I'm going to put use brackets here, it would be 4 minus 2x minus 3y, like this. And then, if we do the same over here, but factor out a positive sign, we can then multiply this times 4 plus 2x minus 3y. Notice what we've done. We've now turned it into something that looks like this, an a plus b times an a minus b. Or again, it could be a minus b, a plus b, doesn't matter what the order is. But notice, if I, if I multiply this negative sign in, I get 4 minus 2x plus 3y, which is what we have over here. And since I took a positive sign here, notice that this is exactly the same as that. I made no difference except just rewrite it in a way where I can now see that this is exactly the same as something like this. It's the difference and the sum of two terms in each of the binomials, and the terms are exactly the same now, which means we can employ this very same technique where this is equal to a squared minus b squared, the first term squared minus the second term squared. If we consider this the first term and this the second term, then we can say that this is equal to the first term squared minus the second term squared, like this, which means that this is equal to 16 minus, and here we have a binomial squared. So we take the first term squared, that's 4x squared, plus the last term squared, which is 9y squared, and for the middle term, it's twice the product of these two. The product of these two would be minus 6xy times 2, a minus 12xy. And then finally, we apply the negative sign to all these terms in here, and we get the following. This is equal to 16 minus 4x squared plus 12xy minus 9y squared. And that is then the simplified form of that product. Notice, instead of working with nine terms, we can immediately just go down to four terms. It makes it a lot easier, and that's how it's done.